Hi everyone, my name is Kanal. How are you? Welcome to my channel. Um, so today on the Newlywed Diary, I have a special request. I had a lot of friends and family that have been asking me to do this. So today I will be showing you how to make the perfect Turkish coffee. So let's get started. What are you going to need for this uh, tutorial, for this procedure actually, is these um, elements. So all, all you need is sugar, if you like your coffee a little bit sweet. Um, Turkish coffee cup. Now the Turkish coffee cup, it's really any espresso cup, um, but one trick with them is that it needs to be um, just straight. So it doesn't need to go in like a triangle shape, it doesn't need to come out like that. Just because if you like the foam, this holds the foam the best way. So uh, if you look up any Turkish coffees, they all have that straight rectangular structure to it. Then you're going to need some raw water. Now I just poured mine in there just to make it a little bit easier. But you can also use the boiled water. Uh, let's say if you are um, in a rush and you don't care about the foam and whatnot, then you don't have to worry about it. You can use the boiled water and it will be very quick. But other than that, just because I love my foam on top of my Turkish coffee, I um, always use the raw water. And then afterwards you'll need, you'll need the coffee pots. Now these coffee pots, they really differentiate. If you like to have the foam again, you'll need a little bit uh, larger uh, uh, neck, I call that. Or if you just don't want it, then you can use the small one like this. And with this one, I just let it boil fully. And when it boils fully, then um, you don't get the foam. But if you want the foam, this is the guy you go for. And back in those days, they used to call it uh, Jezve. It's in Turkish and up till now they still call it like that, but in English that will be coffee pot. So in order to make the good coffee, you really need the good coffee um, pr producer. So this guy, I really love them. It's the Kuru Kahveci Mehmed Afendi. It smells amazing. Like I just opened it and the smell is divine. For all those coffee lovers, you're gonna love this. Um, and by the way, just so you know, this is not sponsored video. I'm not paid to say this. This is truly my favorite coffee. So, so you just heat up your um, stove first and I usually put it on high. The recipe for this coffee is very simple, really. It's the way you measure it is the way you make it. Um, the measuring cup is this one. So, and this is your serving cup. So if you want to make for two people, you put two cups of full water and two cups of uh, coffee. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm just going to move this a little bit so it's not in my way. So what I'm going to do, I like my coffee a little bit strong. So I use a little bit more than one spoon. Now, back in the days when I used to grab this much, my friend, she was like, no, don't grab it that much. That's a little bit too much. So I would grab it like this. So one spoon. And I add half spoon as well, just because I love my coffee strong. So I would put uh, just a little bit on the tip of the spoon. And so the way you measure it is you just pour it in here. So you have got to make sure it's full cup because like just on the tip of being poured out. I would just mix it before I put it on stove. So let it just sit here for a while. Till it's ready I will show you how to collect that let me go back to the history of the Turkish coffee making so back in those days you would probably think it was first discovered in Turkey that's what I thought till I actually looked into the history and it was actually discovered in 11th century in Ethiopia yeah I know they started just boiling it and drinking it like that and they said that they ha that it had some medical properties to it um, like benefits to it so they really enjoyed it and it was transferred afterwards to Yemen um, in 14th century and people in Yemen they used the same recipe uh, not until 1543 that's when it was actually introduced to Istanbul and during that period, uh, it was Sultan Suleiman that was in power. And the coffee, when it came to Istanbul, they took it, of course, to the Ottoman palace, which was the most powerful, of course, and the most um, one that could afford the actual coffee, which considered a very valuable item, very valuable product. Um, so back there, they did not use the 
recipe they had in Yemen and in Ethiopia. They, the chief, uh, the chefs there, excuse me, the chefs there, they uh, came up with a new recipe. So they grinded the beans. After that, just the way we did it, they boiled it. They boiled it and they made that coffee and they loved it. Now, one thing that they didn't do back in those days was adding the sugar. Adding the sugar came up afterwards. Those times, they loved it so much, it became such a valuable product and such a popular thing that when people had the guests over their house, that was a big ceremony for them just to make it. And honestly, just by smelling this aroma and making it myself, I enjoy it because it's really something different. You need to really do it yourself and just enjoy it. Then you'll know what I truly mean. Just because they drank it black, they uh, were a little bit, <clears throat> let's say, like they were using the Turkish delights. Turkish delights, they became very popular back in those days and just because uh, of the Turkish coffee ceremony and only afterwards they introduced this sugar and even up till today they still ask the guests if they would like sugar in their coffee and how much of it and but other than that the black coffee was considered country style or man's coffee and yeah i like to drink it the man way i guess so if you look over here so as you can see over here, um, there's a little bit uh, cover up. So there's a foam forming. You can tell by the texture of it. And there's a little bit of bubbles coming around on this side. The bubbles they're gonna gather up, and they're gonna go to the center, to the middle of the coffee. And we take it off, and we collect it. So just be gentle with it, so you don't ruin the um, actual texture of the coffee texture of the foam, excuse me, I meant to say. So we're going to put it again for it to be boiled. The more spoon of coffee you put, the more foam you're going to get, the more um, rich it will be in the texture. So as you can see, it's bubbling again and we're going to let it take it off. So here we go. And now I'm just going to let it just As you can see, it's boiling. Now, usually they say you shouldn't be letting the coffee to boil, but that's an exception when it comes to Turkish coffee. You let it boil. When you pour it, you have to pour it in one way so it doesn't ruin the foam. So I usually uh, hold on to the cup to keep my hands dirty, and you pour it slowly. It, uh, your coffee is ready to be served and just so you know I added a little bit more water so the water was full uh, to the top of the cup and now it's a little bit less just because the foam observes it uh, some of the water then you need to kind of like aim uh, consider that and aim into putting a little bit extra water in there if you want a little bit more coffee and just so you know this coffee is served with water now i usually uh, flavor it with lime because it goes really nice it has a refreshing uh, taste to it so this is how you would usually get it if turkish people um, we're serving it to you, a glass of water and your coffee and some sweets if you wish to. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you liked this tutorial. Um, like and comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye.